The Bent of the River Audubon Center is a protected bird area and wildlife center in Southbury, Connecticut. This bird sanctuary is home to many birds such as the red-tailed hawk, the downy woodpecker, tufted titmice, and black-capped chickadee. The Audubon Center is conducting a project where they have recently installed large woody debris in the Pomprong River. Large woody debris consists of logs, sticks, and branches, as well as other wood material that has fallen into a stream or a river. It is greater than 10 centimeters in diameter and 2 meters in length. Woody debris affects the river's flow rate, as well as the shape of the channel. The presence of large woody debris is important in the formation of pools, which serves as a beneficial habitat for fish. It provides the fish with refuge and overhead cover. Throughout the Bent of the River property, we um, installed 10 large woody structures, um, both in the channel itself, in the middle of the channel, and along the bank. And uh, we did this in an effort to diversify the habitat. The Pomperog River had been channelized in the mid-1950s, including the two-mile stretch of river running through the Audubon Center. Channelization happens when the river has been straightened, removing meandering curves. This is for agricultural purposes, including flood control and erosion control. Currently, in the Pomperog River, there are more warm water fish species, such as white sucker. The objective of the large woody debris installation project is to increase habitat not only for fish currently inhabiting the river, but also to create habitat for migratory fish who will be able to come through the river with the use of fish ladders. Large woody debris forces water to flow in an alternate path, creating more pools, glides, runs, and ripples, which all help to increase habitat. It also affects the bathymetry of the river by creating a pool at the base of the tree where water first hits. It will then force water to flow to one side of the tree, creating a deeper channel on that side. Water rushing to one side causes sediment deposition on the opposite side of the tree. These variations in the river bottom attract fish and are used as hiding spots. Fish can rest in the calm pools and then dart out into the faster moving channels to catch their food. Even though drastic changes in fish communities in the river have not yet appeared, it is expected that there will be more cold water fish using the large woody debris in the future, and the Pomperog River fish community will balance out between warm and cold water fish. We've seen a lot more uh, sign of beaver, otter, uh, mink. We can see all signs of lots more intensive use by them. So while we haven't seen anything new or really different. What we have seen is uh, much more use of the river that's really obvious to us and uh, more intensive use by different animals. So we've seen a lot of increase in, in animal use. Here we are at site number five of our large weed debris project. And I'm actually standing on the edge of the large weed debris structure itself. This structure was formed because there was a large sugar maple tree that stood on the bank right here. And about three years ago, uh, due to flooding, as the, as the bank was being undermined by the flooding, the tree actually just fell right in the river all by itself and brought in a huge swath of the bank. There were three major parts of this project that had to take place before construction began. The first part of the project was to conduct avian surveys of birds inhabiting the surrounding areas. These surveys included mapping some of the different territories of avian species and what areas they inhabit. Avian surveys were conducted in 2011, 2012, 2013, and 2014. Indigo Bunting Territory Blue Winged Warbler Territory Field Sparrow Territory Prairie Warbler Territory The second component taken place before construction was a pre-installation of large woody debris fish survey. 
This pre-installation fish survey took place in 2012 using a technique called electrofishing to determine what fish species were inhabiting the river. It was found that warm water fish species greatly outnumbered cold water fish species. Proportions of existing warm water, cool water, and cold water fish species did not match proportions that were expected of them. A post-installation of woody debris fish survey was taken in 2014. Results have not changed much. Warm water fish species still greatly outnumber cold water fish species. The third component taken place before the large woody debris installation was a habitat restoration part of the project that took place in 2012. For this component, native trees and shrubs were planted in certain locations around the river. In 2013, some areas also had intensive invasive plant species removal during the grant contract period. This project is being conducted because even though the Pomparok River's water is considered good quality, many stretches are considered poorly populated by aquatic species because the river has such a lack of structural diversity. Downed trees and river attract a great deal of wildlife and help to diversify the river habitat so it is better suited for wildlife. If you have any questions about this topic, please contact the Audubon Center.